Inside the new site of the Hudong Zhonghua Shipyard on the estuary of the Yangtze, a large Chinese warship is taking shape. In the beginning, there were questions asking whether this is anything significant at all, whether this was only a civilian ship, an LNG tanker, for example. As the shape of the new ship became more definitive over time, PLA watchers became convinced that this was indeed a naval ship, specifically a large amphibious warship. In this photo dated February, you can clearly see that the vessel's aft is not fully enclosed. In fact, the aft is an open-ended section, which is clearly intended for a well deck to fit inside. The well deck on an amphibious warship is a flooded compartment at the stern, used for launching and recovering landing craft, vehicles, and personnel during amphibious operations. It facilitates rapid deployment of cargo directly into the water, enhancing the ship's ability to transport troops and equipment ashore. The presence of a well deck, the similarity of the vessel to past LHDs under construction, and the fact the Hudong Zhonghua shipyard specializes in amphibious warships, all point to the building of an amphibious assault ship. Having established the fact that this is a large warship, the size of an LHD, or landing helicopter dock, the question remains, which LHD is this? Is it the Type 075, a 36,000 ton flat top, designed to carry helicopters and rotary wing aircraft only? Or is it the upcoming Type 076, a much larger LHD designed to operate fixed-wing aircraft, especially drones and possibly carrier fighters. Well, in this video I'm going to show you how PLA watchers came to the conclusion that this new vessel under construction is in fact the long-rumored Type 076. In this picture dated early March, the aft in the future well deck has been covered up by the next layer. Beside the LHD, you can see another ship being built. This appears to be a Type 054A frigate, albeit likely the modified variant for the Coast Guard. There's no indication the PLAN wants more of its already plentiful Type 054A, and has already shifted to the Type 054B. You might be thinking that the remainder of the shipyard appears incomplete, and that's because it is incomplete. The Hudong Zhonghua shipyard is being relocated to this location, from its current location in central Shanghai. The relocation is a huge and slow-moving process, but solid progress is already evident. In this picture, dated late April, we have conclusive evidence that the new ship is different to all the existing Type 075 LHD, of which China has built four. According to Horobio, very much a credible source, the length of the new vessel is estimated at 242 meters, with a possible extension of a maximum of 10 more meters once the entire flight deck has been installed. The width of the flight deck is estimated at 49.4 meters. The dimension is very different to a Type 075, which has a length of 232 meters and a width of 37 meters only. The new ship under construction is clearly far larger than the Type 075 class. In fact, it is so much larger that we can rule out the possibility that this is a modified version of the Type 075, even. The ship is a new class of LHD, the Type 076 LHD. The flight deck of the new ship is being installed as we speak. The modules you see placed on top and to the sides of the hull in the photo are the overhang of the flight deck. The flight deck extends all the way beyond the ship's hull, and the overhang is there to provide support. 
these are not sponsons, as some are inclined to believe. The sponsons will be installed later. From this point onwards, I will refer to the new vessel as the Type 076, reflecting my belief that this is it. Of course, I could be wrong, but if I am wrong, so will so many elders who are more credible than myself. Some observers point to an elevator, or the opening for an elevator on the starboard side of the Type 076. That remains to be seen, I think, but it does align with majority opinion circulating among military enthusiasts on the Chinese internet. So far, there's no evidence that this new vessel has a similar centerline aft elevator at the stern as the Type 075. The Type 075's stern elevator has the advantage of greater safety during operations in high sea states compared to a deck edge elevator. As for the Type 076, over the course of construction, we have already seen the ship's layout from the top down, all the way to the level of the aviation hangar. So any mechanism for a stern elevator should be evident if it is present, but it's not. In fact, the construction process reinforces the notion of side elevators similar to US Navy LHDs and LHA designs. Just where and how many remain open for debate. So what will the final Type 076 look like? Well, we have here an unofficial artwork of the Type 076 in the middle from a top-down angle, compared with the Type 075 on the left-hand side, and the USS Marken Island of the WASP-class LHD of the US Navy. What I would have liked to see was a side-by-side -side view with the America-class, but the USS Marken Island as a modified WASP-class is very close anyway. The picture shows the Type 076 to be much larger than both the Type 075 and the Marken Island, and based on this, the America class as well. The 076 LHD will feature electromagnetic catapults up the front and landing arrested cables towards the rear of the flight deck, which the diagram duly shows. They are for launching and recovering fixed-wing aircraft, which are believed to be mainly unmanned combat aerial vehicles, aka drones. Neither the 075 or the WASP feature these. The Type 075 solely carries helicopters for supporting amphibious landing and anti-submarine warfare, if necessary. The USS Marken Island, on the other hand, relies on aircraft capable of short takeoff and vertical landing, or Stovall aircraft. While China may be developing a Stovall aircraft of its own, this is not a high priority. It is something considered as nice to have, but not essential, and hence the decision to use an aircraft catapult instead. The side elevator of the Type 076 and the omission of a stern elevator are closer to the configuration of the USS Marken Island and indeed the elder LHDs and LHAs of the US Navy, which feature two side elevators. The decision to go with a side elevator is appropriate for the operation of unmanned aircraft. Stern elevator could be very dangerous owing to the landing of UAVs. A fixed wing UAV would obviously have to land from the rear, unlike helicopters. A UAV is obviously unmanned. Both of these factors increase the risk of a mishap. In the worst case scenario, a stern elevator could lead a landing UAV into the hangar and causing all sorts of terrible events to happen. So, unlike the 075, the 076 forgoes the stern elevator. 
The Type 076 will primarily deploy a fixed-wing complement of either UAVs or UKFs, according to insider information. The ship will deploy a navalized derivative of the GJ-11 Sharp Sword, a stealthy drone with two internal weapon bays, and a stealthy engine exhaust. Commentators believe the GJ-11 carries a mix of precision-guided munitions, air-to-ground missiles, and possibly electronic warfare systems. A high-altitude, long-endurance UAV, presumably for the purpose of reconnaissance, was also mentioned. We have seen a mock-up of the GJ-11 at the land-based aircraft carrier facility in Wuhan in December 2023, which all but confirms that a navalized GJ-11 is being developed, and consistent with long-held rumors. A combat air wing composed of drones are unlikely to be geared at air-to-air -air warfare, at least given the current limitation in UAV technology. Air cover will need to be provided by elder assets. Rather, the UCAFs are there to provide the Type 076 with long-range striking power to support amphibious landings, which will center on LHDs. It remains unclear at this stage whether the Type 076 will operate manned fighter jets as well. The fact it has a catapult certainly points to that potential, but that seems unnecessary for an LHD centered on amphibious assault. It could be the case that the 076 can operate manned fighters if required, like the J-35, but most of the time, there will be no need to do so. We will see. At this stage, other features of the Type 076 remain undecided. For example, how many elevators, including weapon elevators, how many catapults, and how long are these catapults, how many arrestor cables, even more importantly, will the 076 have an angled flight deck, which is highly important for the simultaneous launch and recovery of aircraft. The Type 076 is expected to have a twin island, a setup that could increase redundancy in case one of the island gets disabled, and the ship is expected to have some form of electric propulsion. Will these things happen? All of these questions shall be answered as the construction of the Type 076 progresses. From a naval watcher point of view, the Type 076 will be truly fascinating. The Chinese Navy sees the LHD as important capital ships. Existing ships of the Type 075 class the Hainan, Guangxi, and the Anhui are named after provinces. This is the same naming convention reserved for fleet aircraft carriers. So clearly, the PLAN attaches a similar or at least a comparable degree of import to the LHDs, which form the center of naval amphibious task forces. To see a full review of the rumors around the features of the Type 076 LHD and the intended missions for this warship, please watch this video right here. That will be all. See you next time.